channel Kids Cloud. Please subscribe to this channel Kids Cloud. What is friction? Let's start this topic with a familiar example. Did you ever rub your hands together? I am sure everyone must have did. Especially in winter, we rub our hands to make them warm. It is an example of friction. While rubbing, our hands move against each other and produce friction. In this process, the surface molecules get energy and the heat is generated. As a result, we feel warmer. Thus, friction is a force acting between the two touching surfaces that raises the motion of one relative to other. Here are some examples of friction in our everyday life. Sliding is a type of frictional motion between the surface of a slide and the body of a kid. In case of skateboard, there is a friction between the base of skateboard and the surface. When car moves over the road, there is a friction between the road surface and the tires. Even walking or running is an example of friction. Without friction between the shoes and the crown, you cannot walk properly. So why there is a friction? Almost all objects will have some friction when they come in contact with each other. Zero friction is practically impossible as we cannot create or find a perfectly smooth surface. Zero friction implies no interaction between two surfaces in contact. But virtually, it is not possible to avoid such interaction. The surface which looks perfectly smooth shows roughness or imperfections under the microscope. Here are two different surfaces that appear to be smooth. Let make surface 1 slide over the surface 2. It slides over a certain distance and then gradually stop. Why does it stop? Yes, it's because of friction. Frictional force always acts in opposite direction of the motion. If the motion of surface 1 is from left to right, then frictional force acts from right to left and vice versa. How does surface plays a role in friction? If you see any surface which seems to be smooth, even under a magnifying glass, you will see irregularities present on the surface. When two such surfaces come in contact while sliding, rolling or moving, then these grooves and ridges interlock with each other. It raises the motion of an object. It is called a frictional force or friction. Rough surfaces have more irregularities and hence have more friction. Smoother a surface, less will be the friction. Let's try to understand this illustration. Here are three cases of frictions. We have kept the same object on different surfaces. In the first case, the ball is on the grass. In the second case, the ball is on the road. And in the third case, the ball is on the metal surface. If we push the ball with the same amount of force on all three surfaces, what will happen? As you can see, the grass looks more uneven and rougher than the other two. 
so the ball will stop early on the grass. It will go a longer distance on the road and longest on the metal surface. A rough surface produces more friction than a smooth surface. Hence grass will produce more force of friction. As a result, the ball will stop early on the grass. Metal has the smoothest surface among three. It will make less friction and the ball will go a longer distance. How does weight affect the frictional force? Another factor which affects friction is weight. A friction increases if the surfaces push harder against each other. Here is one book which is at rest. The frictional force is zero when object is at rest. If we are applying some external force, the book will slide on the surface of table and stops after some distance. Let's skip some more books over the previous one. We will apply equal force in the same direction. What will happen? Does the book show the same displacement? Obviously the answer is no. When a single book is there, it will exert a force proportional to its weight on the table. The table will also exert an equal force in the opposite direction. But when we increase the weight over the book, the overall weight increases. Thus, the total force pressing the surface of the table also increases. As friction is directly proportional to this force, there is more friction in the second situation, which causes lesser displacement of the book compared to the first. Thanks for watching this video. For more videos, please subscribe to this channel.